Yesu. My name is Patrick Chizitegen. Amanyage ye Patrick Chizito. I pastor at Living World Community Church. Asumbe kaniseyo ya Living World Community Church. We are based in Makerere near MBI. Bali yao in Makerere bubango waga de winzo basanga. And uh, they bring you greetings. Over years, God has been burdening my heart with a particular message for my generation. And so I'm passionate at family. I am passionate at leadership development and winning the souls for no Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. So today I am going to take us and I am going to speak something that will uh, turn your life round. I have 30 minutes to add much weight to your life and leave you kindled to go and burn. Friends, whatever Jesus touches, catches fire. Can I say those words again? Whatever Jesus touches, catches fire. And that's why when he comes on a life of a believer, you return and light your family with the fire that you have received. Psalms 139. Verses 1 up to 18. And then I'll, I'll preach there. Psalms 139. Verses 1 to 18. If you reach there, you say, Amen. Because Philip keeps telling me, You are over a teacher. <laughs> like you a teacher <laughs> I worked with Scripture Union for a very long time. And I see work there. And we emphasize faithful Bible teaching. Okay, let's start reading. Where is your Uganda Bible? I don't have it, but because of my eyes, but I can go uh, with you. Can, okay. Mm. You have searched me, Lord. You know me. You know when I sit and when I arise. You perceive my thoughts from far. You discern my going out and my and my laying down. You're familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, you Lord. Completely know it. You hem me behind and before. And you lay your hand on me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. Too from your praises. If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand guides me. Your right hand will uphold me fast. If I sure the darkness, will hide me and the light become night around me even darkness will not be dark to you the night will shine like the day for dark 
for darkness is as light to you. Now the last verses are my emphasis for today. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mom's womb. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Let's read verse 14 together. One, two, three, go. I praise you because I'm fully and wonderfully made. made. Your works are wonderful. I know that fully well. My flame was not hidden from you. When I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God. How vast is the sum of them. I beg your pardon? How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of the sea. And when I awake, I am still with you. Let's bless God's word with a hand clap. Today I just want to talk to you about your value in the world. And when we go to secondary school, we usually preach it as self-esteem. When we go to business, we call it your personal profile. If you go to prison, we say adding value to yourself. So I want to take a little journey in a few minutes just to speak to your heart. I want you to know that the sum takes a journey into the identity of man and the God who knows him. This far knowing God sits on the sack of the universe and sees each one of us sitting and rising. He understands our thoughts from afar off. He is acquainted with all our ways. Imagine before a word is on your tongue, he knows it. He has crafted each single one of us, big and small, young and old, he has crafted us. His knowledge is unsearchable. He is wiser beyond description. He is too marvelous for words. He's too wonderful for comprehension. You cannot hide from this Father God. You cannot outlive him. And you cannot live without him. Every corridor of his universe. From one planet to another. From far beyond our galaxy. God knows it. And even the life that is troubling you, God knows it. He wrote everything about you before you ever came to be. And he knew you would beat the trouble you're going through. 
Whatever you have met was not a bad day. It is just a character building day. Because before you were born, it was written about the scrap for Jesus. So that's why. But in verse 13 he says, For you formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mom's womb. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Raise your hand up and say, I am fearfully. Shout loud as I'm fearfully. I'm fearfully. I am wonderfully. I'm wonderfully. Med. Med. Let's clap for Jesus on that one. It has been proven uh, as a fact. Now I'm going to start expounding on that. It has been has been proven as a true fact. That God has never created any empty being. Each one of us is born with something. When you discover this thing, it becomes the center of your self-esteem. Touch yourself and say, I was born with something. Let's clap for Jesus. There is nobody too small that you will not leave an imprint in this world. You're not too small that you just walk through this universe without touching it somewhere. One day we are going to look in CPM and we shall be able to see your footprints. Your endorsement is beyond you. Agamba, ntigwe chocholo woza, ne chocholo ino kola, chiku sukuruma gwe. Beba kuunda mu vijo kusinga. Era, what was actually created in you, it is beyond and bigger. It about has you. a global and generation relevance. Ntikina, ebi ebi koma, nebi obuli wo ate nebi ebi takwa. We are not preaching to local people, we are talking to global people seated here. Tuogela na bantu wa wanu wa abuli, tuogela kubantu wa bensi yon. I am here to add some ways to you so that you live this service totally different from the way you saw yourself. You gentlemen listen to me. The world needs you. Your generation is desperately waiting and longing to meet you. If you can only rise up in this service and say, I have gone to meet my call. The rest is going to change in Jesus' name. I say, praise the Lord. Where we've just read that, for you created my inmost being. Somebody shaped you first in your mother's womb. It put in your talents. He put in your giftings. Some of you are even anointed from the womb. You have a divine mark even before you were born. The conditions of your birth were so difficult because the enemy knew you were going to be dangerous. And finally, you were able to arrive here. And I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Somebody dictated your date and time of arrival. There is, a, there is a reason why you were not born on a Monday and you were born on a Tuesday. It had a divine plan. You could have been a biological mistake, but you are not a divine mistake. Can I, can I, 
Because God has a plan and that plan we are discovering it in this service. Praise the Lord. They may have expected a male child and you arrived a, a, a female. Have you ever had those plans? plans? And that's why most parents leave the hospital so discouraged and so disappointed. And God is after a divine plan. Praise the Lord. Praise be to Jesus. Yes, we have as Some of them could be two parents and all of them brown. All parents And they go to hospital expecting a very brown baby. Yes, to be very brown. This must be his color. And you go in hospital and you are shocked with a chocolate brown guy. And you come with your mouth in the nose and say, God, this is not the type. God has dictated everything. He knows the color he wants. He knows the shape he wants. He's fearfully and wonderfully made for the Lord. Some of you even buy clothes and you buy blue. Everything is blue. He has to be a son. I have produced four girls. I need a boy now. You go ahead and shop. 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 You even have names for that boy. And you tell the doctor, don't tell me any other boy. Just tell me I have produced a boy. And the doctor shocks you. I say we have good news for you. You have a 50 girl. You may have been a biological mistake to their parents, but to God you are divine. Right. Let's clap for Jesus, yes, my dear. Despite the circumstances of our birth, we are fearfully and wonderfully. I am a father of girls. I live in the girls' dormitory. You for me. When we had just had two girls, I told you God and I told myself and my wife, the boy is on the way. We got all the names of the boy. We convinced ourselves we didn't want a scan. The other ones, just, you know when you have one child and you're going for a second, you can always have a scan. But you only have four girls and you're looking for a You don't want to go for a scan. You might get that. So we said no scan. We went and shopped our, our blue dresses. Blue, blue jeans. Everything blue, blue, blue necks. Blue, blue. We raised our faith to the Just like Pentecostals do. Put in the faith. Right, friends. We have faith. Well, we are not faith. Faith. We had the faith. And we reached there in the hospital. I waited out there praying for this boy. I check on the name. I don't want to tell you the names. But when the, the little one showed up, I saw the, the sad face of the mom. And I knew the faith as much. But God has answered the Praise the Lord! And today, as my daughter Kristen comes through life, I see an amazing woman. Though it looks like for us we planned something different. God had a divine plan. The world needs some people with your weight. The world needs, we are all, we are all going to be different. The world needs some people uh, with big weights. The world needs some people with small weights. The world needs some people with short size. The world needs some people with compound eyes. The world needs some people with compound eyes. The world needs some people with tiny legs. The world needs some people with tiny legs. Whatever the world has abused, God has a divine plan for it. In the story of things fall apart, they write about a, a, a big man on the limbs of a mosquito. 
Bawa andika kumusajja Ngo musajja munene Bawa kumusajja I don't know what they have abused you But you are fearfully And you are wonderfully Mess Praise the Lord Can't you even tell them You could be on the limbs of a mosquito But you are fearfully You are wonderfully Made We can never of the same appearance. The dark skins for the light skins to light up. Because the person needs the quality people who listen to the talkative. Because the person so God make that one who equates so that he gives you the person who is not talking so that he can listen to you so that he can also talk praise the Lord so wanting to be like someone else is a waste of who you are Agamba, okwagalo kuwele anganze, okokono necha atekwe choli. Wanting to be like someone else is a waste of who you are. Okwagalo kuwele angomu ntu omulala, okokono necha atekwe choli na kumalabu de. Be your version. Agamba, vera, mu version niyo katona kia kukonu kamu. Introduce us to your type. Era agamba, anjulile, kwe joli mu. Help us to admire your type. Tulete do kumanga tuwego mejo choli. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. There will never be another you. There will never be another you. You are one in a billion. Let's clap for Jesus so so on that one. Because you are fearfully and wonderfully made, God decided to create you first class. Touch yourself and say, I am first class. All the way. I am first class. First class. All the way. Yes. Now, because you're first class, please begin to profile yourself as first class. Dress something that shows a first class person. Dress something that shows a first class person. Chori. There are some toninjiras where first class doesn't go to eat, even if their food is so much. Agamba, to walk on a sandaka, as it again, every first class, you're not getting a new one, come up, then get married, and take a dog, one, and even if they serve the biggest Rolex, what then, the way, and a Rolex, a single one, because you're first class, or look what first class, you can't eat there. Please skip and go where the first class is. Jerry, and again, and a nigina. Praise the name of Jesus. Turn to yourself to somebody and tell them I'm first class first all class. the way. Turn to somebody next to you and tell them you're seated next to first class. First class, I first class. First class, I put a mask in the water. Someone who is in the first class is opening it. Opening it. Don't you swaza to the first class. First class. Don't you swaza. Please open it. I'm asking you, what are you doing? I'm asking you, what are you doing? Don't untie. You are just throwing within the church. First class, you give somewhere you don't throw. Touch your friend and say, look at this first class person. The way you are actually making our place to be that. First class, but I'm going to move from here to here. Tatu kama kani sana inanga juu da kwa mani efu sifu yeno yetu wala kama ni ni inanga kujua de guaya katamba la kuku ya jeu kubeko o ingredi ya jite mumoto ka. That is what you are supposed to do. Kwa hii ni just for just. Kwa hii ni first class. I don't want to have a class. And you are making. Kuli mnyonyi tu tu mu first class. We are also have a first class. We are supposed to be a first class. Don't make first class to be ashamed. Don't make first class to be ashamed. Don't make first class to be ashamed. He said, "Your name, your name, we shall be able to Your name, your name, your name, your name. Imagine your shirt is dirty. First class. 
Take shower so that your shirt you keep it wet. Don't, don't make first class to be ashamed. You are vibing a girl. You don't even Please, Please be ashamed. Because you are in a first class. Let me tell you, even if you fire me, because you are my young, from this place, praise the name of Jesus. You are the children of you given a bottle of soda. Now you are holding the bottle, you are open. Why are you hurrying? And you are going to let the counter and then you are to see them as enough. Ah! made first class all the way now we are busy praying for you to get married or to find a spouse to 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 the way some you behave you as if you don't want to get married your daughter in a howdy not composed you will not want to take a better no self development no self growth no vision no passion that is what you're supposed to do. There is need to do personal profile. Agamba kola echi kwata kobi ebi kwata kobi ebi kwata kobi ebi kwata kobi in the world what do people say about me bobo tambu de monsi webu ze abantu wanjo gira kochi that's your personal profile agamba ebi webi kwa gira kebi kwa njule li abantu ne monsi when you walk out there what do people say bobo tambu deyo abantu chiche bakula bamu that jitarist oh that's a moment ah omunango yo muga work on that that's a good profile ye profile nunji when I move in the community ah that's a guy who wrote the parenting parks so they say, ah, that's, a, that's a, a parenting coach. Yo, yo, coach when I walk in the business, oh, that one is a leadership coach. Hmm. That's the profile that people are putting around me. And I don't want to put it down. The grace God has given on the first class. Put up your hands and, and, and say these words after me. Dear Lord, yes. help me to fit in the first class. Yeah. Shout loud out. Dear Lord, help me to fit in the first class. Yes. Some of you over on your mobile money, you borrow and no, borrow no, and no, MTN no. is demanding you even tens of thousands. Now somebody is sending you some money, you oh, begin to tell him, ah, don't send on my phone. Ah, send. Then I go the number and pick it. You are shaming you the first thing. You are shaming the first thing. You are shaming the first thing. Your personal value is so high. Don't act like you, like you are valueless. Your personal value is so high. Don't act like you are valueless. Refuse the negative opinions of other people. To become your identity. Refuse other people's negative opinion of you. Become your identity. Let them comment on you. But let them not define you. Let them not define you. When they say you are poor, say I am rich in Christ Jesus. When they say you are struggling, you say I am managing in Jesus. Don't allow their opinion to become your identity. I have come a long way to be where I am. And there are people who say you are too quiet, you will never talk. Actually, on my graduation day, I was given chance to speak on behalf of all the graduation class. And my brother traveled all the way to see Patrick speak. Can you talk? When I spoke and the whole 
audience stood up to clap. He said, hey, The guy can talk. Now today I honor living a lot from public speaking than from the lot from public speaking than from the salary side. Praise the name of Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus, my dear. Some of you have allowed the marks that the teacher gave you while you are still in school to become your identity. They said you are a failure in math, so you move around as a failure. They gave you a 20 in chemistry, so you walk around as a failure in everything. Today I dress a different anointing to break that bond in Jesus' name. And I command you to break out of that shell and come out in Jesus' name. And help your children not to be graded by what the teachers say. If they get 20 in math, that's not failure. Maybe they'll be good in MDD. Maybe they're good Maybe they are good in football. Maybe they will be good in swimming. The 21st century child is not likely to eat from his degree. Agamba. They are likely to eat on their talent. The world's most paid people are sportsmen and business people. As you push them to go and study medicine to be paid 2 million shillings, there is a man called Mbappe who is earning 600 million pounds. So they can't see an equation equating. Praise the name of Jesus. Actually, for us, we say if we are only educating the head, you didn't educate at all. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to take my child to a school which teaches here and gets a first grade, first grade here. You have educated for nothing. Total education teaches the head. Teaches the heart. Teaches the hands. Our education here is only teaching the head. And that's why they can, we cannot employ our children. Because the heart was not trained. No child, no child, no child that went to to preach to those children. children. So we never trained the heart. Then the hand is their skill and talent. The heart is their skill and talent. He cannot even go for football. Even he cannot sing. There is nothing that he can even do. No more fool are useless in a generation that needs talent. Turn to your neighbor and tell them these words. Educating the head. Is we are out the heart and the hand. Is not education at all. Let's Jesus. Yes, is parenting. Thomas Edison, who failed in mathematics, later became the father of mathematics. Mbori, Thomas, Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison, There is no examination that has ever measured your full potential. Because you are far greater than you can realize. You are far greater than you can realize. I can't find a summary. Let me just expound your brain and tease you a little bit. Agambien, jingatana wa kumba wumba. Kagezeko kubanga, atawangulo wongo wo, abeko chakugezeko kusomoza na cho. 
Just put up your hands and say these words. I am far greater than I can realize. Let's clap for Jesus. Did you know that your brain has 2.5 million GBs of space? It is the biggest computer that God has ever made. No computer will ever be as big as that. The computer That's why you can load so many things here and you still have space. And if you died at 40, you will not have used even a quarter of this brain. Some of you who don't read anything, who don't work on any skill, who do not evolve in any project, you will die when you have not even used a third of this brain. Everybody touch your head and say, I still have more space. Touch yourself again and say, I still have more space. Love for Jesus. You are so greater than you realize. When I discovered that, it changed my way of seeing things. I have curriculum of leadership here. I have curriculum of parenting here. I represent Scripture International as their specialist on disability. I know disability here. I know sign language. I talk with the deaf here. I am a student. I am a student of Braille. I know Braille here. I am still in music. I play instruments. I play acoustic. I play bass and also piano. I have theology here, I'm a theologian, I have gone there twice. And recently I'm starting a project on men, I also have a project here. And I still have more space club for Jesus. Raise up your hand and say, I am greater than I can realize. Let's Let's this morning I came to attach some value to you so that you can leave this service better than you can. Did you know your human memory can remember over 2,000 pictures for 80 years? And you can be able to remember 10,000 faces for all your lifetime. You can forget the names, but you can always tell, I met this face somewhere. And you can keep 10,000 of those faces for a full lifetime. Did you know your body can survive 970 operations? Your body, human body, can survive 970 operations and still come out if God has given you the grace. Agamba bwate choche unisha nga gomuto funa ngakone operation yemu na yengo jitia na ya agambi enjo mubiri go guso wolo kumanga guso wolo kuona operation ichenda mumenda ngo chari mula muka tunda wanga kukiriza. Eh? Luenda musa amvu. In the Genesis Book of Records, a man called Charles Jason. Had 970 operations from 1954 to 1994 and still came out alive from these tumor operations. 970. Yazitamu, Wendamu Musam, Nena Sgalanga, Charlie Mulamu, Katina Rufunanga Konemu, Katikiriz and Nechumina, which has so long Charlie Mulam. Your human body is stronger than anything it can be. Oh, really? Wabona, Guaman, Okusinga, Jurato, and those who are Kisan Okusibo, Gomuri, Guaman, and Yokusabo Korenakusanazo, who are dead. Yes, Galanga, which are in Yes, but it's so strong that can continue to do many things. Mugu, I said, it was a Sabah overnight, Emanis and Sabako Kamini overnight. 
Your comfortable zone is killing your potential. Agamba if you talk about Tonight I want you to break loose from your comfortable zone and go and become everything God has ever created you to do. Be resistant to photocopies around you. I come out as an original man in the image of God. Stop trashing yourself. You look in the mirror and you trash the person that you see. Olaba and David Wamu, a solo kuchus and over Munga see a Mukamada Langa Wampa at Chinechindo Wampa Much. Really, God, you gave me this note. You gave a Wampa Much at the feet. Begin to find a reason for your looks. Tandi Kokfune Songa, Mungeri Jola Bikamu, Olaba Munda Wamu, Kogama, and Yindo Nenegamba, whatever the Ninde, no Mukamu. Those days when I was still in school and Indian young member used to come and preach to us, he said, When you are shorter, Find a reason for being short. Agamba, to oingi ni omwe mbe we abayinga ba jaluku somero. Yadja manaba gama ngai na wagama tibo bango limu mpi no nyensonge kuleto kumanti limu. You are closer to the center of gravity. You cannot fall so easily. Oba gamba, nzizani no mulaba. Menu anakuwa denga muri yari mubo mwenyula. Nzolo kuwa ndi mpi. Tewari chizola kuwa. Find a reason for being tall. You receive fresh air fast before the short end. When you have small eyes, find a reason these are most beautiful eyes. If you have big eyes, find a reason for the big eyes like I did. Praise the name of Jesus. Let's come for Jesus. As I finish, raise up your hands. I am special. My life has a purpose. My story is important. And my voice matters. I want to hear those words again. Raise up your hands. I am special. My life has a purpose. My story is important. And my voice matters. Now turn to your neighbor and preach those words to them. Tell them I am special. My life has a purpose. My story is important. And my voice matters. Can you clap for Jesus? The Sandra's clap. Amen. Just make a statement as we close uh, this afternoon. Be unique and be special in your generation. Add some content in your head. Be too good that you cannot be eliminated. That when they fire you from that company, the company can collapse. Be too good to be eliminated. Some women go to marriage with, with only beauty as the only commodity they are going to give. They are only beauty, the only commodity you are taking in that marriage is beauty. My friends, as pimples turn into wrinkles, you discover that your is fleeting. But you needed the character, you needed the godliness. Character is the base on which God builds all other things. It is the inward beauty God wants you to have in your self-image. If your pillar base is very big, God will carry bigger things on the top. But if your character base is so small, at the top you can only carry a postage stamp. Let me also talk to the men as I finish. Some men take only the physical height and weight in marriage. I am tall, I am fat, I have a round 
and smiles turn into wrinkles and what was six pack becomes one pack pastor philip okay musumba what one pack? What one pack? one pack? Why did you in all generation? Something Your character changing in all generation. Your godliness. Your passion for Jesus. The Bible says when Daniel was in captivity for 70 years, Daniel we are ringa limubusiwe emia kansamvu. He was still the same Daniel even after 70 years. Yaringa ye Daniel yomu ademia kansamvu we are ringa yisheunga limubusiwe. What never changed is that character in God. Ejita chu kamuye che che mpisa je ina mbukatonda. I introduce you to the anti-aging cream of all time. This. Aga manti akwanjulira eyo cream e taleta kula. I want to introduce the anti-aging cream of all time. This cream is spelled as J-E-S-U-S. J-E-S-U-S. When you have him, you say like that man, Joshua. I, I think it was Caleb. We will say that I Caleb. Caleb. At 80, I feel like I'm at 40. I feel the same energy like I had at 40. At 40. When the guy is 80. Some of you are growing faster than your age. You need this anti-aging skin. Called Jesus. If you never knew your age, how old would you be? Look at yourself in the mirror. And give the age to that man and woman you see. How old would that person be? Raise your hands up in the air. Dear Lord, thank you. Thank you for speaking to me. For speaking that to I'm me. Fearfully that I'm fearfully and wonderfully, and wonderfully made. made. There is no empty human being. And I am not empty. And I'm not empty. Make the rest of my days. Make the rest of my days. To be the best of my days. The best of my days. Put down your hands. You could have been here and you don't know Jesus and you would want to accept him as your Lord and Savior. I want to give you a moment and the time to accept him. Just put up your hands in the air and I'll pray with you. If you're there, there is no. Let me pray a blessing upon this church. Father, in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. As my feet have stepped in this place, may the heavens open in this ground. Let it be like that place where Jacob saw the ladders ascending and descending into heaven. That as people step at CPM here, they will meet God. Oh, yes. I pray that you raise a generation of God-fearing men and women that will break down the walls of evil and set up flags of Jesus across the whole of Uganda. This church is passionate for missions. Oh, yes, Add on to them soul winners. Give them zeal, passion, resources. Mm. God is bringing resources to this ministry than never before. Amen, amen. The stores of heaven are opening to this yes. ground. And Father, I endorse every word we've preached here. Mm. May it go and work. In Jesus' name, somebody say, Amen. Thank Amen. you so much. God bless you. Amen. Wow. Wow. A better hand clap to Jesus. No, like if you have been blessed, clap to Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name. Wow. Can we appreciate the man of God? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Now you know why I, I always move with, with him for all the missions. He lays the ground. I come to win the souls. Wow. Amen. Have you been blessed? Have you been blessed? That's the mother rock, the best for all life skills that we do. That's the foundation. That's the foundation. And I want you to go home and imprint the same knowledge in your children. Whatever your children will become is based on this knowledge. I am special. I am different. I am unique. I am destined for good things. Praise the Lord. I have been blessed. I don't know about you. I have been blessed. Amen. Amen. I have about two things to do, then we go. Tonight we are, leave, we are setting off for um, one week is mission. And we, we are going with him. One of the things we do when we go in those prisons is to redefine the the identity of those inmates. This is what we tell them. That you could be here. But you are special. And most of them when they come out. They live differently. Amen. Amen. Completely different. So we are setting off today. As soon as the service is done, service we are going to should be we shall, shall be in Lugazi at two thirty. And then after Lugazi, we will continue to Mbale. To gende Mbale. From Mbale. To ve Mbale. Lira. To gende Lira. From Lira. To ve Lira. Uh, Soroti Lira. So to ve Mbale to gende Soroti to gende Lira. Then from after Lira, we will switch. Direct up to Arua. To Genda Arua. From Arua. Okuva Arua. We'll come back through Nakasongola. To Den Nakasongola. And we'll be done. A whole week. Week in non stop. We want you to pray for us. Pray for us. But also support us. We need the fuel. We need the food. We need the gifts to those prisoners. We need accommodation. If you don't give us, we shall sleep in a 